Okay, I'm playing Shadow the Avatar. It's a uh, video for the first time. I'm not entirely sure I've ironed out the uh, technical issues um, I was having, but it's worth a try. Let's turn the music down a little. So in today's video, I'm going to take my uh, newbie character, uh, who is, uh, as you can see, bunch of level 23. So barely started, next already 14. I'm going to take my newbie character and basically run around the world. Because uh, this is something a lot of new characters seem to have trouble with. I'm going to go through some passes and some control points and try not to die. If I do die, it won't be the end of the world. Uh, but uh, luck, luck is with me. If luck is with me, then uh, we'll manage not to die. Uh, I do have a whole bunch of pulled experience on this character because I've been logging in every day to get the 10,000 XP which means stuff will level up um, but that shouldn't impact things too much now as you saw I started there behind side um, Resolute and High Vale now Resolute and High Vale are in, in a sort of circle of mountains um, you start there if you choose Courage and uh, the obvious way out is uh, Superstition Canyon, which is a five score zone. And I'm going to run around the map here to Nightshade Pass, which is only a three score zone. And in this release, has actually been made easier um, on the path, specifically to facilitate the um, travel of newer avatars. The, uh, the stuff up by the fortress is still still the same level it was before but the stuff near the uh, the entrance ways has been made a little easier now I'm not going to try and fight anything uh, this is purely a uh, uh, a run through the zone type thing I'm trying to do it as fast as possible my uh, deck will have on it um, heals and sprints as well as some combat stuff but I'm predominantly using the heals and the uh, it's, not, it's dash, not sprint. Remember, you can also double tap to sprint, but that uses up your focus. You see at the top there. Oh, yeah, as I said, I will level up stuff. I'm going to stop sprinting so I have some focus left to heal. I also point out I'm not using any buffs at the minute. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not eating any food, and not been to any devotionals. So, as a simulation of a low-level character, uh, I think it should be uh, pretty accurate. Now I'm going to swim across the lake because then I don't have to fight anything. I'm heading for that gap in the mountains directly in front of me, and so far I've not died, which is good. I'm leveling up some things, which is also good. Uh, obviously there's not much to do here, just go in a straight line. And jump out of the side, there'll be more bandits up the hill there, and some wolves and stuff. My sprinting will improve as I go, no doubt. Everything's fighting each other, which is nice for us. The wolf is sitting wagging its tail. We're doing all right. Right, so the archer shooting you in the back is the most likely, the most likely thing that's going to cause you death. Uh, because uh, criticals in the back, uh, especially when we get in the higher level zones later on, that could uh, that could finish you off in one shot. But like I said, maybe we'll get lucky, and if we don't, you'll see. You'll see what happens. So, we're through Nightshade Pass. So we've escaped that central circle of mountains. Uh, we're going to come out by Brittany, the capital. Uh, when it all loads up, we hope. There it comes. I see uh, Britain is over there to the northeast. 
but where we want to go is that uh, range of mountains to the east. So there's Brittany. If you want to get to the Hidden Vale, there's a boat outside Brittany for that. Uh, if you want to get to Brightbone Pass, you follow that road down there, North Midnight Way. But we're not going there either. There's a bandit here. Which I think we can see. We'll go this way and try and avoid him. Oh dear. Oh, looks like we might have made it. You know I can tell with those encounters. Get pulled in after it looks like you've run away. Gonna go. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go across there and avoid that other bandit, which means I'm gonna go slow for a bit. But uh, since it's Sunday morning UK time, there's not a lot of other players uh, on the server at the minute, so there's nobody to uh, to uh, suck up the encounters. So we're mostly seeing all of them. Hug the rocks to avoid the bandit. And get back on the path. Right. So there in the distance is East Reach. I've run around Desolus, which is an important uh, important town. Has some master skill trainers and stuff. Lots of uh, lots of quests and things. Here we go, East Reach Gap. So this is um, this is a control point. If you don't know what they are, that means in the centre of the map there's a point where if you stand on it and take control of it, you summon you summon increasingly difficult waves of enemies to fight. Uh, this character is in no way suited for even the first level of the control point, and this the zone surrounding the control point is five skulls. Now there is a side path that takes you into the sort of centre of the control point, which is up the hill. But on the side path, you can just see one at the top there is a whole bunch of corpions, which will, you know, kill your unarmed character as fast as anything in the control point. So control points have gates like this either side of them. You have to break down the gates. And on the other side is a gate you have to open. But once you're in the control point. You'll, you'll find an anchor on the other side, so even if you do die, then um, you can still get through. You can see the gate through there. Inside here will be a whole bunch of skeletons. Um, as long as no one has set off the control point before you've come in, they should be um, uh, sort of two to four hundred hit point skeletons, not really nasty ones. If someone has set off the control point, then, then you're going to die. Uh, there's no getting around it. Um, that isn't a terrible thing if you're low level because you won't lose any experience and you, you can still res at the anchor on the other side. Right, so I'm going to uh, dash, I'm going to double tap, burn through my focus and try and get through as fast as possible. I'm basically going to go in a straight line. Doesn't look like anyone's set anything off. Something's noticed me. Something else has noticed me. See the all orange to me. So this is the gate we have to get open, so this is the most likely point you'll actually die if it's not been set off. And I made it. I only just made it, but I did. Let's go up in speed a bit more. Lots more orange stuff. Lots of things fighting each other. Corpions that were going to kill us. That I'm going to ignore. Print some more, and we're out. So here's the way out. Everything's following me, but I managed to get through that. Uh, the most I lost was was 98 points. Now, really, the best way for that one is just go through the middle of it and hope you don't die. There's not really any uh, greater strategy than that. It is actually quite a nice zone once you have leveled up a little bit. 
because the um, the areas around the control point are, are fairly wide you can as long as you can kill one thing at a time there's a lot of high level resources and stuff you can harvest there which is uh, no skeleton I'm avoiding all these encounters because I'm trying to be fast but I might get caught up in some anyway oh the skeletons are just too fast look oh. at least a skeleton encounter we don't have to do anything we just have to put up with the loading screen <sighs> here it comes right so skeleton encounters there's never any skeletons on the road they're all in a ruins which I think let's see I get my bearings I think that's it over there I'm just going to run the other way no interest in the encounter there is a whole bunch of resources in here uh, look, it's a forest road encounter so there'll be silver um, which is quite hard to get as a new player uh, you can go and harvest all those rocks there and there you can see from here, I can actually see an iron node on that rock uh, without aggroing anything but we're not doing that today, we're in a hurry sort of wait for another loading screen Comes. Figure out which way we were facing. Yes, here we are. Look. Right, so that was the huge gap. Now we come down here, we see Solace Bridge, which uh, is the starting point uh, for the Love Quest line. And if you're doing one of the free trials, this is where you start. Solace Bridge outskirts over there is the, um, the first main scene that you'll spend a lot of time in. I'm going to carry on round and go past Soul Town. See it coming up there. Here's Soul Town, which you'll soon end up in, and coming up across the way, past an outlander, also looks like a bit of a noob. Going across the way, it's Ardress just there, under siege. Uh, as a new player, you don't always have to uh, go through sieges. Oh, there's Lace. Uh, does a lot of videos, check out her channel. Uh, also runs uh, several crafting events. Right, so, we've uh, started at the Courage start point, um, Resolute and Highvale. We've been past the Love start point, Solis Bridge and Soul Town. Now I'm going to go through another control point, Brightbone Pass, which is up this way, and then run round to um, Blood River, which is the, um, the start point if you uh, choose Truth. There's Brightbone up here, so Brightbone's another control point. Uh, if someone set off the control point as a new player, you are going to die. Try not to panic. Just carry on through and go to the Ankh on the way out. Uh, like um, Eastridge Gap, it also has a lot of high level resources you can get at without taking on uh, anything in the control point. Uh, mostly it's just uh, uh, animals, uh, wolves, and polar bears. There's some stuff you can grab without even fighting any of that. I don't know if there's anyone's in it. No one's in it, no. Uh, trees, lots of trees. I don't need trees in East Reach, right? So there's an iron node there, for instance. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I've got basically all my starter gear on. Although I have obviously equipped this character with some better crafted gear that I made for this video, I'm just keeping the starter gear right. So, like before, you kick open the gate. Now, there is a possibility there will be a skeleton on patrol right inside the gate. Looks like we're alright. So with this control point, that's the control point over there by the way, the strategy is to uh, stick to the wall. Stick to the wall. When we get up, oh, so there is a mage. Stick to the wall. 
go across here stick to the wall and open the gate here we might get out I'm running away and I think they've tethered so I was in a little bit of a hurry there because I was being attacked but uh, just to go over the key points again stick to the wall, there's that skeleton uh, cross over at that point where the skeleton was, it won't always be there uh, but he will sometimes be, that's the only one you have to fight in the control point and they will de-aggro when you come out and break line of sight down here uh, in reverse you have the same problem in that sometimes there will be a skeleton there uh, right inside the gate uh, you just, there's no avoiding him uh, you just have to follow the path if you follow the path you minimise your aggroing of any other skeletons and hopefully survive now there's some more iron up there if you want now there's always a skeleton patrolling on this path as well you can see him down there in the distance uh, you can harvest all of these resources fairly safely as long as you know where he is there's a cotton bush, there's an iron node coming up here, there's another cotton bush and then what I'm going to do is sprint past this guy as fast as possible and yeah so there we go fairly easily avoidable I think he's already given up Oop, walked into a wall and we're through so as a new player I've now passed through two control points uh, which are among the most difficult scenes in the game if you actually want to play them properly but as I hope I've just demonstrated they are uh, fairly survivable even for a complete beginner if you uh, if you know where you're going and just uh, head there with conviction so this is the other end of the road that we passed earlier if we keep going to the north there you will come once again to uh, Brittany that uh, range of mountains surrounds uh, the High Vale and, and Resolute area but I'm going to turn left here and head over towards uh, Exeter now, there's quite often things patrolling on this path which we will try and avoid once again looking good so far so we're coming up now to Exeter see it just over the hill here there it is siege engines around it uh, this is another important town uh, especially for some recipes and stuff here in Exeter and we're going to get the boat in front of Esther there. Oh yeah, the crag mine's up on the hill. Important mine once you get to be higher level. Go to Xenos, which is a, uh, a town on the Truth quest line, which you will come to if you're doing that. Which, yeah, you know, not coincidentally, we're heading now to uh, uh, Blood River at the start of the Truth quest line. Click on this boat, ferry to Airy. Right, so we're outside Airy. So I'm going to head up this way for now, but I'm going to come back to Airy in a minute. So if we head up this way, I just want to show you uh, where Blood River and Blood River Outskirts is, which will be where you start if you're uh, on the Truth Quest line. So the, the main point of this video is to visit all three starting scenes uh, without using any of the other more advanced um, travel mechanics there's Blood River, there's Blood River outskirts just over there where the big tree is without using, we didn't use any moon gates, we didn't use any teleport scrolls, we just ran around the map as, as Lord British intended and have hit all three starting scenes and also not died uh, I don't think I've levelled up much Let's have a look. Yep, still adventure level 23, which is almost nothing. 
So to finish off the video, I'm going to head back to High Vale and I'm going to use a little trick. So they're going to get this boat to Storm's Reach. Now on Storm's Reach, which is on an island, uh, there's only a boat back to Airy, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to head into Storm's Reach. So I crashed loading into Storm's Reach. Um, hopefully the edit won't look too clumsy. But here we are heading to Storm's Reach, I hope. In we go, right. So we do start off uh, at an entrance that is a long way from the docks. But I'm just going to uh, head in as fast as possible. Uh, this is a, a fairly common um, template as far as uh, first player in town is concerned. So you've probably seen the layout before if you've been in uh, a few of them. Uh, the main links to other towns is at the docks, which is why we're heading there now. This is the slowest part of the whole journey. But the reason I'm showing you this is because this uh, this route back to High Vale and you know the reverse from High Vale and Resolute avoids any control points at all. Just uh, you're just uh, running through um, Overland Map and Player in Towns. That's all you're doing. Right, so we've come to some boats, um, Elementum and Brayside Castle. Either one will do. So I'm going to head to Brayside Castle, because why not? Have to wait for a load screen. But the advantage is we will come out on the docks in Brayside Castle. And you'll find there's a boat there to Novia and a boat back to Storm's Reach. We can use the boat to Novia. Uh, we'll therefore come out on the Overland map any second now. Uh, so Brayside Castle, you can see Storm's Reach over there. Uh, South Shattered Hills, um, over that way to the east, you can see Tenebris Harbour. Just past that is uh, Yarnaford. I'm not going to head that way right now, although you can if you want. I'm going to get up onto the road. We're going to follow the road this way, and you'll see Virtus Pass, which is one of the control points between uh, you and the rest of Novia when you start with a high belt. I'm going to run over the mountains here. Uh, you can see the ruins there. You see Bramble. You see Superstition Canyon, which is another one of the control points. Uh, the one I said at the start of the video is the most likely one you'll find when you start in High Vale because there's High Vale. And coming up, just over here, is Resolute. So there you go. Uh, we're basically back where we started uh, between High Vale and Resolute. Uh, we didn't die, we did crash once, and uh, took my low level character, adventure level 23, all the way around the world, essentially. Uh, so, there you go, hopefully that's helpful to uh, some starting out players. Um, Apologise for the quality of the video, I've, I looked at the first bit and it's a bit of a mess, uh, but... It'll have to do for now. I'll have to fiddle around with some settings some more and see if we can do any better. Uh, 
Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.